वेलकम बैक गाइस टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस गूगल सर्च कंसोल एरर वेर यू सी ब्लॉक्ड बाय रोबोट डॉट टी एक्स टी यू कैन सी इज वेरी कॉमन प्रॉब्लम ऑन दिस वेबसाइट आई हैव एट पेजेस इफेक्टेड बाय ब्लॉक बाय रोबोट डॉट टी एक्स टी ऑन दिस वेबसाइट आई हैव वन पेज इफेक्टेड बाय दिस एंड ऑन दिस वेबसाइट आई हैव फोर थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड पेजेस विच आर इफेक्टेड बाय दिस इशू ऑफ ब्लॉक बाय रोबोट डॉट टी एक्स टी एंड गैस आई एम प्रोमिसिंग यू दिस विल बी द बेस्ट वीडियो ऑन सॉल्विंग रोबोट डॉट टी एक्स टी एरर्स ऑन यू वेबसाइट After watching this video, you would not need to watch any video on robot.txt blockage. You're going to learn a lot of important concepts in this video, and you will be able to do better SEO for your website and increase traffic on your website and rank your pages faster on Google search engine. This video is going to be in-depth video, so you're going to have a lot of important knowledge about SEO in this video. So first, see what is the simple meaning of blocked by robot.txt. You can see this in the Search Console report. If you click on this, then you see all the URLs which are blocked by this issue. You can see here we have just one URL. If I click on this one, then you can see. I have this rule in my robot.txt file which say disallow wp admin and you can say wp admin so what i can do i can just remove this rule from the robot.txt file and then the issue will be gone there's a simple explanation of this thing okay don't worry i'm going to explain you what is robot.txt file how you can remove do all these things how you can do all those things just bear with me i promise everything going to be very clear to you and all your issue will be solved even after all this i forget anything don't worry Please comment on this video. I reply to all the comments on this channel. Okay, so let's do one thing. I simplify this thing here. So when you open your Search Console report and you have blocks by robot.txt, you can find multiple pages there. Okay. Now we can see here six pages here: page one, page two, page three, page A, page B, page C. In this report, there are all pages on the website which are blocked by robot.txt file. I'm blocking all these pages in my robot.txt file. That's why Google is telling me, hey, all these pages, they're blocked in robot.txt file of your website. What is robot.txt file? If you open your website URL and then in end you write robot.txt, you will have this file which give instruction to search engine which pages they can crawl, which pages they cannot crawl. So, for example, you can see here it's called user agent asterisk, which means this is instruction is for all the user agents. And then I'm telling in this file disallow page one, disallow page two, disallow page three, disallow page A B C. So, in simple meaning. You can see all these pages they are showing here in the Search Console report because I am blocking all these pages in my robot.txt file, and that's totally fine. Now you must say, okay, this is a good thing. What is the issue here? If we block all the pages here, and then Google is showing all the pages in the report, what is the issue? Okay, to understand that, we need to understand that Google shows us all the data, but Google is not telling us which pages we should block, which pages we should not block. It's on us to decide. I'll tell you later in this video. How you can identify which pages you should block, which pages you should not block. In simple case, let's suppose page one, page two, and page three. They're the pages we want to be indexed on Google search engine, but by mistake we have blocked these pages in the robot.txt file here. Okay, and page A, page B, page C are the pages we don't want to be indexed on Google. That's why we have added this rule here, A, B, C. And now you must say, okay, simply. I can remove these rules, and the pages which I wanted to index on Google, they will be indexed on Google because they will not be blocked in robot.txt. But what about these pages which I don't want to be indexed on Google, and that's why I'm blocking them here. The problem is these pages are showing in the Search Console report here because by robot.txt I'm blocking these pages, but I have added these pages in the sitemap of my website, and I have index tag on these pages. So what's happening? These pages A, B, C, which I don't want to be indexed on Google. On one hand, I'm telling to Google in robot.txt file that please do not index these pages. But at the same time, I'm telling Google to index these pages. So Google is confused here, and that is wasting a lot of crawl budget of my website. Because if you don't know what is crawl budget, crawl budget is the time allowed by Google when the crawl bots from Google come to your website and index all those pages to search engines or from different search engines like Bing, Yandex. Any kind of search engine, and it has limited time. So we need to be efficient, so we can use the maximum crawl budget of your website for indexing pages. Just to summarize what we said until now, page one, two, three, I want them to index, but somehow by mistake I added this rule here in my robot.txt file, which is blocking these pages. So what we can do? I will remove this rule, and then everything will be fine. And then A, B, C. Is I have added intentionally, but at the same time I am adding these pages into sitemap and no index pages. That's why they are showing here, which is wasting crawl budget. So let's solve this problem one by one. 
guys please bear with me it might look confusing but it is not confusing and as we gonna proceed in the video this is going to be very interesting for you and you will understand a lot of nice interesting concept okay so let's work on page one two three which we want to be indexed on google somehow this rule is added on the robot.txt file i'll tell the solution for the wordpress blogger or custom website or any kind of website you can do this because concept are same for any kind of website so let's take first example for the pages which want to be indexed on google but they are blocked by robot.txt so we'll take, let's take example of wordpress for example in wordpress you're using plugin like yoast seo you can go to tools here and then you will see file editor you can click on file editor so here you can see your robot.txt file and now from here the rule which is blocking the pages you want to be indexed on google you can remove those things from here now you must be thinking there's so many options here which you want to remove so very simple what you can do you can go back to your search console report like i shown you click on this url here and then here it will be highlighted the which rule is blocking these pages normally wp admin pages you should not be removing from block because they should be blocked but just an example to know which rule is blocking pages you can look from here and then if you're using your seo plugin for example you can see this disallow rule you can just remove this rule from here wp admin you should not remove let me keep it back if you're using rank math plugin you can go general setting and then add robot.txt and then from here you can remove this rule Sometimes you see this error contents are locked because robot.txt files in root folder. In that case, what you can do, you can open your website file manager by cPanel or you can use FileZilla. And then in the root folder, you will find this file robot.txt. Right click and click on edit. And then you can see this rule. Now just remove the rule which you don't want to be on your website which are blocking the good pages. For example, one, two, three pages which I want to index. Somehow they added here. I'm going to remove those. So these pages will not be locked anymore and then save changes in case of blogger website what you can do you can go to settings and then scroll the page and then you will find this option crawler indexing in case if this option is off you will not have this error on your website of pages blocked by robot.txt because by default all the pages are enabled but in some cases if you advanced user this option is enabled you have the second option click here and then remove the disallow which is blocking the pages and then save it and your error will be solved. In most of the cases, guys, I want to disable this option if you're not an advanced user. Keep this option disabled. If it was enabled before, and just by disabling it, this error blocked by robot.txt will be gone. It might take a few weeks, few months to see the changes in Google Search Console. Google Search Console might take a lot of time, but yes, be patient. Once you take the right step, you did the right thing, then you just need to wait. And guys, before we move forward, I would really appreciate if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. These videos take a lot of time to create and you can see I do a lot of research about these videos and it might take some time, days and days to create this video in the most simple way. So it will be a really nice way to show your support to the channel. If you can like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. Let's go back to the video. Okay, let's see the second type of pages. For example, page A, B and C. These are the pages which I don't want to be indexed on Google. That's why I've added this rule here. This allow page A, B, C. But at the same time, they're showing this report because I had index tag and they might be in the sitemap of my website. And what these pages could be? Here I just give example page A, B, C, but usually these pages can be theme pages, tag pages, search result pages, admin backend pages, and they can be so many other pages. Let me show you more example. You can see this website has 4,700 pages like this. You can see all these pages add to wish lists. They're like dynamic pages. We don't want these pages to be indexed. And if I click on this, you can see here, disallow. And I have this keyword here, add to wish list. If I go to second page, you can see I have other pages here, which is add to cart pages. If I click on add to cart, you can see I have this other rule here, add to cart here. That's why these pages are being blocked. Okay, so now what is the solution? So now solution not in editing robot.txt file because this is we want. This is we did on purpose to remove all these pages by blocked robot.txt. We don't need to change robot.txt file because we are blocking them. We need to change the option, which is indexing these pages by adding index tag or by adding them into the site of the website. So again, in case of WordPress, if you're using a plugin like Yoast SEO, what you can do, you can go to Yoast SEO setting and then you can go to crawl optimization. And then from here, you can see prevent crawling of internal site search URL. You can enable this option. The search page will stay blocked. In case you're using rank math plugin, rank math has much more option here. In case of rank math, you can go to titles and meta. And then from here, you can go to miss, miss pages, which are miscellaneous pages. And then from here, for example, if I scroll the page, you can see we have this option, search result. So we can enable this option. If it's not enabled, we can enable no index search result. And then no index password protected pages, all these pages we can enable from here. And one more thing in case of tag pages, 
it depends on everybody sometimes people they like to index their tags if you like to index your tags make sure you don't block your tags in robot.txt file but i don't like to index the tags because they can create a lot of problems so in case rank month, you can go to tags and then from here you can add the no index tag make sure this is checked to no index same thing i'll do with the product tags also i'll make sure it's no index same case yoast seo you can crawl the page and then you can go to tags here and then i make sure they are not showing in search appearance from here then i'll do the same thing with product tags then i'll make sure they are not checked now we talk about blogger website so in blogger website if you have some pages which you don't want to index and they're showing this report i'm sure when you disable this option then you don't need to do anything else if you have not added these particular tags on the individual pages so overall you need to decide which pages you want to be indexed and which page you don't want to be indexed pages you want to be indexed just go to your robot.txt file and then remove those rules which are blocking these pages to be indexed the page you don't want to be indexed what you need to do is because you added the rule in robot.txt file for abc leave the rule here because this is our purpose then you can go to plugin setting of yoast or rank math plugin and then you can make sure that these pages are not added to sitemap sitemap and they have no index tag on these kind of pages i hope you get some value from this video if you like the video don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel i really really appreciate this will take a lot of time to create and i highly recommend you to watch this basic video on robot.txt file which will explain you everything about robot.txt file